Who said we want you to snitch on anybody that's sending emails suggesting something about health care that you say is untrue. Yeah, you know, I was going to hold up a dead fish on happy hour last night. We got segued with Peter Schiff actually talking about some of the stuff, so I didn't. But uh, literally, he says if you see something fishy, if you're getting strange emails that are, I don't know, counter to his philosophy of what should happen with health care, he wants you to literally flag at whitehouse.gov. Hey, everybody, send them an email telling you, telling them right now that I am telling you that so lots of fishy stuff about health care. And Send what they away. call Cody Willard, strange, Rod, what, what the administration calls strange or weird or inaccurate, what we just heard from Scott Rasmussen and our guest before, that represents the mainstream. Seems a little more They're calling the mainstream well. strange and unusual and maybe unpatriotic. Fortunately, Cody has a daily TV show, so they can keep tabs on him <laughs> that way. Look, I, what I want to see out of this is essentially what we're doing tonight. We're having a civil conversation about this. We talked about this the other night, whether there could be a backlash if the, the tactics used were too mean, too insulting. And I, I want to hear proposals on both sides. Okay, you disagree with what's going on. Shouting and yelling, not necessarily the most productive solution. We have a health care system that is not perfect that needs fixing. Let's talk about fixing it. Kelly, shouldn't the president himself stand up and say, that's it, no more bad mouthing of protesters. Maybe I disagree with them, they certainly disagree with me, but we're not gonna insult them. The tones being set here, both by the way that, that a lot of these officials are handi handling the situation, but also, unfortunately, by a lot of the people who are at these rallies and doing the president the type of sets things. the tone for the country. Certainly, these people are protesters who don't represent a, the people; they represent look, themselves. If you have a legitimate movement, there are a lot of people in this country who are legitimately concerned about a government-run health care plan, and the problem is that that is getting overshadowed by the the antics that you see at these rallies. So, if there are groups. If they realize this is a counterproductive effort, that's what I'm saying. It's just that, well, look, I, I realize there's let a me, broader, Let me go, because I don't appreciate the here. word antics. I know that there are some people that get overwrought and that shout. And frankly, when you're in a, in a room with dozens of other people and you're not accustomed to speaking to them, sometimes you're not exactly sure of how you behave. Jason, I, I know that you were at a couple of these rallies. Do you ever see people that are purposely being antagonistic and shouting just to get attention or is it more the case that sometimes they get overwrought because they feel passionate about something well yeah I mean I think a lot of times you're gonna find a lot of passion out there and really uh, at these rallies sometimes the the antics that I'll see are people who are opposed to what we're doing but if you want to call Judge Andrew Napolitano a respected <laughs> speaker giving an impassioned speech or uh, you know, members of the Ohio House Assembly giving a speech or families coming out on a Saturday when they could be doing anything else to listen to people talking about the Constitution and principles of liberty and freedom which our founders fought and died for, antics, I don't, I don't know what's happened to the First Amendment in this country. Robert, and, have, you, you know, have you seen, let me move on to Robert, have you seen anybody get out of line at these protests? I've seen people who are upset. But I've also seen, uh, now my point before, is that there were people who were there supporting the president. I mean, I remember a big guy who is, uh, you know, a U.S. steel workers union guy who was proudly wearing a T-shirt that said he, that he was an activist. And, you know, he pushed his way to the head of the line, and he was going to be heard. He got interviewed first by WHYY, and, you know, he was out there yelling in, in support. So you've got to remember, the people who are at these rallies understand that it's, it's not just the people who are opposing health care. It's the people who are supporting it. We're, we're mm -hmm. also trying to be heard. We want to counteract you know, the false impression that the White House seems to be putting out that the majority of, of citizens are for this change. Okay, and Amy, I just finally, we got to wrap, but quickly on this enemies list. Are you concerned at all that they're taking names? <laughs> I, I think they're probably going to get flooded with emails from people who are amazed that they're even doing this. And I think it's also amazing that the people, you know, Pelosi and others have said, you're trying to hurt the president. Um, I mean, since when does the president take protesters so so personally? I, I think people are just baffled that the White House is taking this approach. Yeah, thank you, gang. We appreciate you coming in and talking to us. Let us know what happens in the future.